I got this old R12 two-door reach in here. Yep, R12. And the pressure, I'm looking at the suction pressure that I can convert. It's really close. I got my gauge set at 134A. I think 409 is even closer. I don't I didn't program a So uh, I don't have a refrigerant issue. The problem is this box has been icing up. It's got a mechanical thermostat. The stat had been changed out. And it's going back here behind the coil. And, it, and the box is kind of hammered. It needs a door gasket right here. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, see, look at that. When they close that door, that door pops open. Or that door pops open. So there's probably an issue with the doors closing. I'm gonna install a thermostat with defrost, the A421, ABD O2C, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, it'll be easy on this one because this unit already has a contactor for the compressor right there. And we already got the wire right there. We can fish the neutral through. We already got our hot and our switch leg right there, so we're good to go. Let's make this happen. So I'm gonna take, I'll take our two leads off the thermostat. And you can see that you said the flex shoved in there. And we'll pull that flex out and then we'll get the pro out of the, of the box. So we'll just remove this thermostat. It'll leave us two wires. We've got 110 coming in here and then our switch leg that goes through the high head pressure switch to bang on our contactor. So let's pull those out. We got it free. It was behind the coil in the return area. That's where we'll put the next probe also. He's gonna kind of pluck out the silicone from the hole so we can get our probe out of there. Pull her back through. So then we can install our new thermostat. So we're going to be off the 120 volts in a neutral to fire off the stat and then the switch leg is going to be over here. So we already know we got a hot coming in and a switch leg. I'm going to add a neutral, take a jumper from the 120 to the common. We'll take the hot from over there to the hot here, switch leg to here, I'm normally open and then our neutral to our neutral. Switching out a mechanical stat for an electronic, just adding one wire. And of course the jumper. All right, so there's the neutral I ran. There's my jumper. This was my hot, this is my switch leg. So now we got 110 to fire off the stat and we still have our switch leg over here. Our line common and our line normally open. We're gonna push this back up in here like it was. I put a little popping bushing in there. We'll get that in there just like that. And then we can secure everything up. That's how the wiring's gonna look. It's about a 19 degree evaporator, which is about good. And then this is what it looks like when it's all done. And with this, with this uh, A421 ABD02, it has a defrost built in. So I set them for uh, every six hours, 30 minute defrost. And it looks like we're trying to get to about between five and five and six Celsius on these. So what I got to set for Fahrenheit. So I got 38 degrees Fahrenheit off and then on at 41 degrees. But that's going from a mechanical uh, thermostat to a Digital adding one wire the neutral you gotta have your neutral in there Serial on this is 1987. Hey, that's when I got in the trade. Look at that Still running Old R12er 
Okay, if you want to find out more on these thermostats right here, I do have a video that goes over the programming of it. If you come up to one and you have your QR reader on your phone or your phone does QR reading, it's right here on the stat. It'll take you to the whole handbook to get you through the thermostat. That's a nice feature on there. It's right on the front cover there. All right, like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.